Well, this is Tim Hellman. And Mark Dunnell. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Iron Sky. It's an experimental German, Finnish, Australian film that was made in collaboration with the online internet community. They basically asked for fans' advice, and that's how they sculpted the screenplay. It's about Nazis that left Germany in 1945, I think, yes. during World War II, and fled to the moon, and they're waiting to come back to the U.S. and regain control of the world, basically. With space with saucers. flying saucers. Lots of them. <laughs> and it's basically about what if Sarah Palin was the president. Yeah. Although the actress that plays her isn't nearly as hot. But no, I wanted to. But do she was Palin, she was pretty similar. Not yeah. The actress. Yeah, they dressed her that way with mm -hmm. the glasses and all that. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of teetering on this one because I expected a really low quality film. Uh, I mean, just uh -huh. uh, I thought it was just some independent uh, whatever. But then the special effects were second to none. I mean, CGI as good as great. yeah. I mean, as good as any you know hundred million dollar film. Yeah, I mean, I'd literally give my right nut <laughs> to be able to do that. What the shame is, they they take ten million U.S. dollars. Uh, so seven point five euros. Uh, yes, whatever that we is. had to convert it. The plot was the problem. They, I mean, the movie quality. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the scenes and everything. Uh, it was bitching. It was just a, a shame. That that was the story that they used all that talent. Nazi side on the moon. Yeah. Well, my favorite part of it was the uh, president's assistant. That she was very sexy and beautiful. <laughs> she looked, she looked great in the uh, leather outfit. That's for oh, sure. Oh yeah. But she definitely had that do domineering <laughs> personality, which I like. So. Yeah. Nice yeah. cleavage. Nice <laughs> yeah, nice cleavage. Um, yeah, she kind of made the movie evil. for me. Yeah, she was definitely evil, but. So what rating would you give the movie overall then? I liked it. I'm gonna yeah. go 2.5 because I hated the storyline, <laughs> but enough. yeah, you that's liked it. just the film quality. I mean, it was yeah. well done. I mean, the CGI was great. CGI, awesome, awesome. I just wish they would have had a like, real <clears throat> screenplay. There's also a really hot blonde in it too. Oh well, yeah, that's. See, I'm a blonde. I like. Well, thanks blonde. to the hot chicks, I she guess the, I get she could do naughty things three too. Three stars out of five. Yeah. I think the other, the brunette, looks like she can be mine. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Alright. We'll double date, you can have the brunette, I'll take the blonde. Are you smoking weed but again? You'd, you'd rather do dude, the, but you'd rather do the blonde. Movie talk. You'd this rather is serious. Do, uh, serious movie talk, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Quit smoking weed and taking straight shots. You'd rather do the blonde than the brunette, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, behind closed doors, you know, she seems prim and proper, but man, when you, brunette, goes, you tear those clothes off and she's going to just go wild. But the brunette had a little bit of, um, what do you say, like, S and M comes oh, to mind. No, but Polynesian. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely, there's... Polynesian? Yeah. I'm kind of into that. Right? Yeah. She had a good, For now. A good look to her. Right and you liked her Mad Max outfit. Yeah, that was definitely Thunderdome right there. Mm -hmm. I'd definitely bang her if I could. Oh, absolutely. Don't think I would turn that down either. Uh, yeah. And the bomb. What about the Sarah Palin that's alive? Uh, I, she just didn't do it for me. Yeah, I would bang the real Sarah Palin, but not the oh, little Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though she's evil and, and but, a horrible but, person. But the real Sarah Palin <laughs> thought that dinosaurs were on the Earth a thousand years ago.